Welcome back to the Stuff of Legends, where we talk about the last D&D session we played and answer some of your questions. My name is Raghav and I'm your humble DM and these are the victims of my unending tabletop torture. <laughs> hey, I'm Andrew. Hello everyone, I'm Christine. Hi, my name is Jagriti. That was a very good villain. Yeah. I thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed that villain. Yeah. I don't know, it was fun. I, the singing and the <laughs> rhyming was really good, Raghav. That's solid. Thank you. Yeah. And he was like so fun to dislike him. Because like if I compare him to like Gua Toa guy. Yeah, the Frederick. Frederick. I hate Fred- Frederick in a way that I don't want to listen to him. Like that voice that you do, it's just so creepy and weird. Like it like grates my... But this one was actually like fun to hate in the sense that it wasn't grating. But it was like very interesting. So it's I like it. whimsical. In yeah, yeah, yeah. And creepy in a like way where it wasn't so like physically like difficult to listen to. Can I share a stupid thing about my childhood and Faye? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was like really into fairy lore as a very small child like my friends and I would make fairy houses in the like and like Mm -hmm. put them in place because we lived like essentially everywhere in Washington's like the woods and I had this weird thing that I carried it was probably just me as a socially introverted awkward child where I wouldn't eat places that were offered me food because I was like that's how fairies get you because if you eat in fairyland you have to stay and I would just like (laughs) never eat anywhere I went because I was like that's how they get you man that's how they get you so like at your friend's place or whatever like restaurants or like a relative or a friend yeah like at your relative places (laughs) like at Olive Garden like at friends places when I'd go to friends (laughs) parties and there'd be food there unless like someone I just wouldn't eat they'd be like why aren't you eating I'd be like I'm just not hungry (laughs) <laughs> and then later I'd be like, Wait, that's, old? that's how, I, I did that for way too long. I was probably like entering high school and I was uh-huh. like, you got to stop doing this now. It's like, super weird. <laughs> that's so funny. That's great. I, I imagined going to like an olive garden uh-huh. and they bring you your food, you know, and you're like, nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Better luck next time. I wasn't, my parents would have killed me if I'd done that. It was like at friends' houses or school events. But, <laughs> but it was me probably just being too picky of an eater, just telling, giving myself an excuse. <laughs> I, like, I don't know much about this lore and all that. So I... I had, I didn't know fairies were supposed to be evil. <laughs> oh, fairies are dicks, man. <laughs> they're like dolphins. <laughs> People think they're cute and awesome, but really, total assholes. Yes. I also love that this session was like so like it tested your friendship so much. <laughs> In Rocco's defense, Timbo was terrible. You think I don't have feelings just because I'm an awful person? I do. <laughs> Timbo has his days, you know. You get a girlfriend and you're immediately, I'm better than this. Ah. I see how it is. <laughs> Jax, how are you feeling about playing a sorcerer now? I mean, like it didn't like change much. Like, I, I mean, I like the extra ability of like, I mean, I this is my favorite part of the game anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you did a ton of damage this game. (laughs) I think the cool thing about being a sorcerer is that you don't have to now like spend time going and finding spells and learning new spells because like it's all innate. So you'll just like naturally be developing spells for yourself. So this is an interesting thing about D&D. Like now that you're saying no, (laughs) that you don't have to go look for them, that you can just develop your own. So now I'm thinking, can I just make up anything? You could, you could try. Yeah, that's the thing. You could try it. And I like if you succeed well enough on a, a check, if an existing spell exists, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Or we can make a spell together. Or uh, what if I just make something up? Like okay, yeah, we'll, I we'll it. fucking make a spell. What if like I wanted to make him talk and tell us the <laughs> truth? Could I have done something? There's a spell. It's called Zone of Truth. It's okay, real. so like, okay, then okay, I'm gonna use that then next time. Right? Yeah, it'll be a check, right? It, like if it's a spell that you don't know, it'll be like a harder check. But sure. Th- then if you figured out a spell, I'll let you like learn a new spell on the fly. That'll be amazing. Yeah, that's that'll be fun. Okay, let's do a question. Uh, Phantom Wolf asks Question for Rocco As a bard, what is your character's favorite instrument to play? We have never seen Rocco play It (laughs) remains to be seen if she actually can Or if she's pretending And just likes to hold things for the look of it I feel like Rocco would say things like My voice is my main instrument While like strumming one note But she, I, she likes Like on my character sheet, I have a lyre And like, I like to imagine That I can play mandolin Because I own a mandolin And I do not I know how to play it. It's got some sticks make your fingers hurt so bad. Did you know that? There's a really big learning curve. It's real hard. 
<laughs> if it goes badly, you can blame it on Timbo. Yeah, here you go. Does Timbo play any instruments? I know the real. I know the real player does. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, growing up in his dad's shadow, he like never wanted to try. Because the minute he would try, he'd get notes from his dad on how to do it better and how when he was touring 20 years ago, this is how it's done. So I think Timbo is like intimidated out of playing an instrument. I think. Fair enough, fair enough. I love how much like backstory Timbo has and we explore none of it in the game. <laughs> yeah, it's all up here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs>